Maybe you know my video about the US blinker or US indicator lights, which I did around two or three years ago. I draw the schematic and show the DC-DC buck converter and did some testing and some more testing and some more testing. And now a user asked if I could make this video again in English. And yes, I think I can. But let's do this a bit more professional. I put my pen away and draw the schematic again with my, what's the name of the software? Profi CAD software. This is freeware, by the way. I have two versions of this. One, which works with a switch and a fuse and uses a DC-DC converter module. I will show you a picture of it that you know what do you need to buy. And another version with the RF module where you can switch between the normal parking light and US indicator light. On both versions, you need one of the DC-DC modules for each headlight and one remote relay for each headlight. This version is the easy version with cheaper hardware. A DC-DC buck converter costs around two euro or around two US dollars or maybe three. And the remote relay costs around five. So how does this work? This is the contact in your headlight which comes from your blinker relays. It goes to your indicator lamp and then it goes to ground. In this case, we need a 4 amp diode or more than 4 amps. So a diode which can handle at least 4 amps. Cut this line and put it between it. This is necessary because if the DC-DC converter puts around 6 volts here to make your indicator lamp lit up, this diode should protect the other hardware behind it from lighting up your indicators on your rear lights, for example. Then you need a 12 volt line for example, the battery plus or your ignition plus and a fuse. I recommend to use a 5 amp fuse for each headlight or a 10 amp fuse for both. Fuses are cheap, so please use them because if you have a problem here and a short circuit somewhere, your car could be set on fire. Then you need a switch which can handle around 10 amps and connect it behind the fuse. From the switch, you go to the DC-DC module. There's a potentiometer on the DC-DC module where you can set the output voltage. You get input voltage of around 12 volts and the output voltage at, for example, six volts. You can adjust that later if you want to have the indicator lamp glow brighter or dim. Here you see the input ground connection is not connected because the output ground connection and the input ground connection are the same. They are connected inside the DC-DC module and the out is connected to ground. You could also connect the into ground, which would be the same result. From the output, you go to your indicator lamp after your diode. If you go from the out before your diode, your backlights would also light up and would draw also too much current for this module, which is not a good idea. If you want your rear indicator lamps also to light up, I would recommend to use a better DC-DC module, which could draw more amps and you could remove this diode and also it would be a good idea to mount this inside the interior of your vehicle and not inside the headlight. That's all for this easy version. You could build this for under 10 bucks. Now let's go on with the more complex version with the remote control. For the remote control version you also need this diode for each headlight, you need this DC-DC module for each headlight and you need this remote relay for each headlight. I will show you a picture how this remote relay could look. In this case, we get our power from the parking light and not from an extra 12 volt line. Our parking light has a fuse, so we don't need an extra fuse here. If you want, you can put one here, but it's not necessary. But you know, fuses are cheap, so put fuses everywhere. We cut the line from the parking light and connect it to our 12 volt input on the remote relay and to our input or COM from the relay itself. From ground we go to ground. This is just an extra ground because it's easier to understand. This and this is the same ground. NO means normally opened. Means this contact is opened, here is no voltage or nothing, if the relay is not energized. NC means normally closed. Means this is connected if the relay is not energized. If the relay gets energized, NC is not more connected to COM and NO is connected to COM. 
So in this case, COM goes to NC, from NC to your parking light lamp in your headlights and to ground. Your parking light will light up and your indicator light won't. If you press a button on the remote, NO becomes connected. So this DC-DC module becomes connected to the 12 volt input. Your parking light lamp will go out. The DC-DC module converts that 12 volts into around 6 volts. Again, you can adjust that with a potentiometer and then it goes to the indicator lamp. So your remote could change between normal parking light and indicator light. Again, there has to be a diode to make sure your rear indicator lamps don't light up. This assembly has to go in both of your headlights. So two DC-DC modules and two remote relays. In this case, your parking light lamp goes out if you press the button on the remote and your indicator lamp becomes lit. But what if you want your parking light to always stay on and the relay just to switch the indicator lamp on or off? That's easy. Then don't cut this line to the parking light. Just connect the COM and the 12 volt line to it. You do not have to connect anything to NC because this line goes here and the relay just switches COM to normally open or to nothing because NC is not connected. A standard indicator lamp draws around 21 watts. With this DC-DC module on around 6 volt it draws less than 1 amp. This is okay for the parking light fuse, so you don't have to do extra wiring from the parking light switch. Do never change a fuse to a higher one if the wiring is not designed for that. I hope everything is clear and you're ready to build this module. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching.